What is up guys and welcome to my review of another Rebel set, set number 75158, Republic Combat Frigate. This set comes with 5 minifigures to be an exclusive ones, we have Ashoka Tano, Chopper, Ezra Bridger, Commander Sato and Agent Kallus. This set was a perfect replica from the Rebel show and it is one of the most expensive sets ever made. At the back of the box we can see the full Republic Frigate, with the interior we have our figures, Fighting Forces, Agent Kallus, we have the flick fire missiles, the stud shooter, the handle and more functions which you can do with the Republic Frigate. Starting with Adult Ahsoka being the most expensive minifigure nowadays, this minifigure has such high demand because of the popularity of the Rebel show. As you can see this minifigure come with those two lightsabers which are unique to Ahsoka. As you can see the color of the lightsaber is also very exclusive because it only used for this Ahsoka minifigure. And starting with the minifigure all parts are fully exclusive to her as you can see from the face to the body there's just so many details in this minifigure even taking her headpiece we can see a lot of details starting with the face printing which is just phenomenal to the body part and the legs the second inclusive minifigure in this set is commander Sato, and this is really another unique character from the rebel show as you can see he has this unique face expression and the torso design with, we can see some little details on it which looks like a really nice figure but nonetheless it also has a second very weird face expression and we have some back printing for this kind of minifigure next we have agent Callus, which is very nice to get him with his helmet. That is an amazing addition for this minifigure. We can see the Imperial rank on him and he also comes with his exclusive gun. But nonetheless the Agent Callus minifigure is actually really unique and I just really like the exclusive pieces which we get with him with, from the face expression to the helmet and also the details on the body. And there's still some printing on the back of his torso with the unique face expression. Next we have Ezra Bridger who also comes with his custom lightsaber which he actually made himself. But nonetheless this figure is very not unique and not very special because it's not very accurate to the show i know the design for his torso and four legs are really good the face expression goes well but the hair piece is just really wrong had another colored one yeah really nice ezra minifigure for the set who also comes with a really nice back printing and a very unique face expression last but not least we have chopper and it's actually very surprising that has also grown up very much in value considering that he came in almost every rebel set but nonetheless as you can see the unique chopper head piece and the design of the torso is really good with his unique little legs which only have the same body for chopper there's no actually back printing for him but nonetheless the headpiece of him is very unique and exclusive as we go to the frigate i think it is actually a very nice ship for display it's very little it's very complex and it also has the unique handle from the front side we have this big printed cockpit i would say then we have a large sticker on the top which is actually really unique i don't see a lot of those stickers using in those kind of pieces then we have the two flick fire missiles on both sides which can actually rotate 180 degrees because it's just really hard to rotate because of the missile and it actually just works very well as other flick fire missiles do let me just get that straight out the top section of the frigate actually uses some very interesting pieces with a unique other sticker but nonetheless the side paneling for the frigate is actually really cool we can see something really nice i just really like the addition that they actually made it really thin which there's not so many big gaps considering that yeah we can see some technic holes on this side which is actually really just a shame which they actually didn't have any pieces to cover it but nonetheless i just really like there's some also stickers on it and it just very a complex frigate the same can be said on the other side it is made very symmetrically and i just don't know what about this part this is like a some kind of missile or just an engine for it because i really like the addition of the blue pieces on it at the top section we can see the main bridge of the ship they have this really nice slope made downsize with black pieces and nonetheless there's an orange sticker i don't know what it's supposed to represent but still a really nice detail nonetheless i also like the pieces they used on top with a special sticker on front of the frigate I really just like those ice cream little metallic color pieces. Still some sticker on the bridge. So as you can see, yeah, there's a really unique sticker on the top of the bridge. Get into the back of the vehicle. As you can see, there's some still pieces which you can actually activate as the big engine. But sadly, mine doesn't work. I don't know. I've tried to rebuild it many times and it just can't upload fully but this is the position that it'll actually be as you can see shown in the box you just have to rotate this piece and it can actually just open the two panels from the frigate but i don't know why i just spin it and it doesn't work 
I have tried to rebuild this man many times, but it just doesn't work very sadly. It's a very nice end piece of the frigate. There's like two wings of them, which are actually made symmetrically the same. And I just really like the addition of it. The color, the lime green color is just really cool, but it, sadly, I just can't open the mechanism as is shown on the box. As for the top part, we can still see some little antenna pieces on the front with this big, with another big one. But nonetheless, there's two of those spinning touch shooter missiles on both sides. This can shoot, they just spin 360 degrees with nothing actually carrying and it just fires up very easily just like a normal stud shooter as you can choose just to punch it and it just goes all the way up so yeah, it's just a very fun mechanism to do it even when it spins 360 degrees. Accessing the interior is actually pretty simple. You just have to push up this roof piece to the top. It connected only with those two stud pieces and it designed actually very well. We have those two symmetrical sides and also the, I really like the detail on this roof. It just made actually so well. Inside we have two control panels, which we get in the main combat frigate, which we can put any other character. We can just put their commander Sato controlling the full ship. But nonetheless, we have also another panel on the front of the frigate which has a sticker on it which i think is the most important part we can put any character in there and we have those three handles for the lightsabers and if i'll put a show because it just doesn't actually really handles well it just very represents very badly because you have to put the lightsaber on which is a very nice handle piece but not very accurate to the show they have the two c's which we can put other characters such as ezra bridger and another one there which is actually not a lot of space we can't put chopper and all of our minifigures they'll just have to be like i don't know standing somewhere which is a very like really strange position a very nice man has also that the ship is very sturdy and has this really nice handle piece you can actually just attach your full hand on it and it's very sturdy as you can see there's nothing going to break the ship is fully rotatable 600 degrees and i also like the addition that is very actually accurate because you can just hold it and then nothing actually breaks so that is very nice addition for it if you like add it to other ships there might just pieces fall out but this is not the case i mean it's a very complex ship and it's actually very nice for display and also is it very sturdy so it's a very nice star wars set all right guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope this review really helped you this is a very fantastic star wars set concerned that you can put the frigate wherever you want it's very complex it's very actually filled with details from the rebel show and it's just actually really nice for display it's not going to take a lot of space and its swishability is just fantastic not only is a frigate fantastic i'm not even speaking about the figures which are also very expensive and unique to the set also to the legacy Wars community as this full set is just so unique nowadays and yeah so this is one of the best legacy Wars sets i would highly recommend to any of your collection if it's like a one set this decision for your collection i think the republic combat frigate is the right case thank you guys so much for my review don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you legends in the next one peace out